Hello, hi, I have a court case for everyone. This is a very important one. This is also, uh, I think it might uh, the, no, I don't think this is an AP one, sorry. Anyways, so 1905, um, currently, pre as you know, I don't think Theodore Roosevelt's in office right now. I think it's probably Taft. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, actually, no, it might be. It might be. Yeah, I think it is actually. I don't know who's in the office right now. Someone. So, uh, there's this guy, okay? Um, and his name is, uh, well, you'll never, you'll, you'll never guess this, Lochner. And he's living in New York and he runs a bakery. Um, and the New York had recently enacted a statute um, called the Bake Shop Act, which forbid bakers to work more than 60 hours a week or uh, 10 days, sorry, 10 hours a day. Currently we have about a 40 hour work week, but it was so 60 back then um, for bakers in particular. Uh, Lochner was accused of permitting an employee to work more than 60 hours a week. However, this is because he was letting him, he was letting their, his employees essentially sleep on the job. So if you don't know anything about baking, um, I don't really know a lot about it either, but essentially you wake up at the crack of dawn at like 2 a.m. To, to, you make your dough, you, you knead it, you, you know, and then you put it in the oven, and then you wait like, you know, 12 hours, and then you get out and you take it out. So essentially, uh, Lochner was paying his employees to sleep on the job while the the bed uh, the, the bread got you know cooked, um, and that's essentially why he was fine with breaking the law, because um, he was paying them for those hours. Uh, the first charge resulted in a fine of twenty five dollars, and the second charge was uh, you know a few years later when he was caught again uh, fifty dollars, which is a prop a, a pro, you know approximately a, you know one one point five k kind of kind of a, kind of a bit. Um, Lochner did not actually challenge. He, uh, he basically just, like, sat there, but I really understand that, um, you know, uh, and took it. And then the second time, he also didn't do anything, but this time he decided to appeal afterwards, um, and he was denied in state court. Um, now, New York's one of the weird states that has the Supreme Court, and then it has the, the Court of Appeals, which is the actual Supreme Court. But anyways, um, he argued the 14th Amendment has the interpretation to contain the freedom of contract among the rights encompassed by substantive due process. So, uh, substantive due process is, uh, you know, um, not, a bit, not a big fan of substantive due process, uh, you know, and I think that he really relied on it in the wrong, in the wrong, uh, anyway, I'll get to that later. But yeah, substantive due process is, is the notion that, um, you know, obviously, you can't be detained of uh, life, liberty, or property without uh, due process of the law. Therefore, um, you know, there is no process substantive enough to take away the, the right to enter into contract, essentially. So the, con the question was, does the Bake Shop Act violate the liberty protected by the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment? Um, argued on February 23rd and 24th, 1905, day after my birthday. I um, probably shouldn't have said that. Eh, yeah, whatever. Um... So there you go, um, and uh, the question was, does the, does the Bake Shop Act violate the liberty protection of the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment? And in a 5-4 to four decision for Lochner, the, uh, they, they said that essentially yes. Um, the majority opinion was written by Rufus Beckham, um, and it invalidated the New York law. Um, the majority maintained that the statute interfered with the freedom of contract, and thus the 14th Amendment's right to liberty afforded to employers and employees. So the court further held that the New York law failed the rational basis test for determining whether government action is constitutional. The majority reasoned that the Bake Shop Act had no rational basis because long working hours did not dramatically undermine the health of employees, especially not in this case. And baking is not particularly dangerous, especially not when they're sleeping on the job. I mean, that's pretty nice. Um, broadly interpreting the statute, um, authority to regulate under its police power, Justice Harlan, in his dissent, articulated reasoning that would inform later decisions in the post Lochner era. Um, rather than requiring the government to prove a law had a rational basis, he would require the party challenging the law to prove the test was not met. So, this, this court case created a beautiful era called the Lochner era, and it's, a, it's, a, it's something that we really need to go back to. And, you know, Justice Harlan, you know, you know I, 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 uh, I appreciate that he was the only dissent in Dred Scott, you know, and I respect that. I do, I do. 
but he made the wrong, he really, he really messed up here, you know? It's, it's, it's very obvious to me that I'm not a believer in substantive due process, but I don't think you need to be, you know? I, I think that it's, it's very obvious that there is due process which can take away your right to, you know, enter into contract, but that was not met here. That was not met. It's very clear that that's not what is happening with bakeries. You know, if there was a, a, a legitimate government interest um, in protecting bakeries, maybe, but I don't think that the, the, the government's been able to prove that. Not in this case. Maybe if you were a, a worker in the mines, you know, a coal miner, where your hours could affect your health, absolutely, sure, go make, make a minimum wage, make a, uh, an hour law. But especially if you're just like a, and you know, what we have now, where we have basically a, a across the table, that's ridiculous. There should, that shouldn't exist at all. That's insane. Um, you know, the fact that the fact that in you know if if you if you believe in the the, the right to to you know you know run your own business that is that is purely between you and your employee and your employer you know that that that's what the it, it's 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 about the liberty to enter into contracts and the liberty to create contracts you know and and uh, unless the government is able to prove you know significant do due process a significant you know hazard they shouldn't be able to deprive you of that and i think that's it's very sad this court case has been overturned by one called well it, see the thing is that it technically hasn't been overturned but um but it has essentially been overturned by um west coast versus parsh also known as the switch in time that saved the nine awful awful decision horrible horrible possibly you know easily like up there with plessy in my opinion um really really bad and it's all fdr's fault you know fdr really is the root of our problems i hate fdr so much you know really really terrible terrible president good good wartime leader but that's it you know and this it's 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 sad it's sad it's got overturned you know because i think it's really it really is correct and it, it understands the guarantees of the constitution very well but what are you gonna do all right that's all i got for everyone